Hey pillars, welcome back to another crash analysis. I don't like making these videos, but it's important that we talk about it because it does impact how the race and the Tour de France will be raced going forward. So with about 10 kilometers to go, Primoz Roglic suffered a crash and he is the GC hopeful for Jumbo Visma. So we will look at it frame by frame and see exactly what happened. Now, in terms of the situation before this crash took place, it's the last 10 kilometers. Everyone's fighting for position, jockeying for position because it is a sprint stage finish. We have Matthew Vanderpool, the cyborg in the mile zone for Alpecin Phoenix. So he's in front of the peloton right now and we see Primoz Roglic's arm and it seems like something happened in terms of a touch of wheel we don't have a good angle from this but he goes on the left hand side and he's lucky he doesn't hit his arm or his head so he flies off his bike and he hits his bum so he always seems to crash on the right side of his leg. We saw this in Paris this year and he crashes, but he's lucky that it was just the right side of his leg. It doesn't seem like anything else. If we watch that back just to see what exactly happened when he crashes, the impact part is his butt and his right thigh. So that's really good because in terms of GC hopeful, if he, I think in terms of Garen Thomas's crash on stage three, that's worse than what uh, Primoz Roglic suffered because upper body, in my opinion, would be a little bit rougher than the leg. The thigh is pretty meaty, so in terms of it taking an impact, I think that's going to feel probably a little bit better. I would like to hear what you guys think. I've crashed. I've broken my collarbone in the past, so in terms of you know crashing, I understand what it feels like. A collarbone feels worse than crashing on your side. Last summer, I actually crashed on the side, and I was able to continue my ride, whereas when I broke my collarbone, I was not. I had to withdraw from that race. Now, in terms of the situation after the crash, we had Yumbo Visma teammates doing damage control, and it seems like Primoz Roglic ripped both sides, because when we saw him crash, it seems like the brunt of the impact was on his right thigh, but obviously, you scrape up your left thigh as well. So they had about five minutes to the peloton and they were chasing, they were giving everything they got because Primoz Roglic can't be losing seconds and maybe minutes at this point in the stage. And it's good. I checked uh, the GC standings because there was a lot of drama. I will be doing a full race recap about stage three, but Primoz Roglic for Jumbo Visma lost a minute and 35 seconds. So I don't think his Tour de France is over necessarily, but that's not looking good. Tadej Pogacar is only 40 seconds down on overall GC and Richard Carapaz is only 31 seconds down. And if we look at Garen Thomas, he's a minute and seven Seven seconds down so you know it's funny that he crashed but Garen Thomas crashed at a pretty good section of uh, the race so if you haven't seen that video I will link it somewhere here or in the description so in terms of Primoz Roglic that's a very bad damage for overall GC he lost a pretty significant amount of time then do I think he can make up for it sure but that's almost a minute that uh, Tadej Pogacar has on him almost give or take so that's not going to be that's not going to be good at all so Primoz Roglic, Yemo Visma, just unfortunate. Today's stage was just crash fest galore. So, um, lucky. I want to touch on this crash because it does affect GC. Like, I think right now, Tadej Pogacar, in terms of UAE and their hopes of doing a, a repeat back to back, is looking good because Primoz Roglic is obviously, this is going to hurt him going in the following stages as he heals. And so is Garrett Thomas. But then they're lucky because they can play cards with uh, Richard Carapaz. It just doesn't look good for both those teams. And the top teams are Ineos, Jumbo Visma, and uh, UAE. So I would say uh, the best winners in terms of today would be UAE with Tadej Pogacar. He didn't lose anything significant in terms of time. He lost a little bit, but nothing super crazy. And he's not injured. So um, just an interesting crash because when Roglic crashes, it usually seems to always be his thighs. So <laughs> hopefully he can recover relatively good for the following stages. Uh, lucky he didn't hit his head or anything of that nature. So I do like reporting when someone's good. So all in all, it seems like he's going to be fine going into tomorrow's stage. With that being said, if you guys did enjoy, there will be a full race recap on my channel. So like the video, subscribe to the channel, and until the next one, keep on pedaling.